Okay, it looks like we've got about seven minutes left. Opus 15 violin, and we want to turn the nut. Again, in the um, survey I did earlier, the nut was just slightly high, uh, like 177, we want 176, but it's probably also not quite even, so let's find out. Again, here's our little um, piece of about four inch long spruce, it's sound, sound post stock, and it's sharpened like a pencil on one end. And then you can use, like this is a needle nose file here, just use the, uh, just so you can get in close to the string when the time comes. Here you can go in with a tip, or you can tip it and just come in with the side, go each side of the string. Again, notice I'm dropping it, letting go, and catching on the rebound. So. Those are close. That sounds lower. That sounds higher. So let's do the same. Let's see where that one is. Okay. Bracket lower, higher. So this is apparently 176, which is what we want. See, so, and this is. Higher, listen to that. These sound higher than the back, which is at a gold frequency. But this one sounds like it belongs. That one sounds low. So, what we're going to do, we're going to raise, uh, this is going to be our 176, and these are a bit low, a bit high, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's start with the D string. And we'll tap on each side of the D string, where it, on the wood, at the top, right next to the string. This side's a little bit lower, and um, this is the one that's higher. We're trying to lower it, so take the flat side of our file. We're going to take some right off the top, right next to the string. And that one just a tiny bit. Okay, let's try that. Left and right side are even. Right here. Bracketed low. Bracketed high. Okay, so these two are now the same. Listen a little back. It's neither higher nor lower. It's in sync. This is the back, which is supposed to be 198, and it's 197, so it's very close. Let's listen to both sides of the G string on the wood. Okay, the inside's a little bit higher, so we'll just take a light, just a tiny bit. Okay. And yeah, that's 176, bracketed low, sounds lower, bracketed higher, sounds higher. So those three all match now. Okay, now the E string was lower. So let's listen to that. Here's the 176. And it's a little bit low. Let's see, where is it? It's about 175. Okay, listen on both sides of the E string where it touches the net. And it's too low. And the inside, the left side's the lowest, so we're just going to flat side toward the string. It's too low. Okay, since it's too low, we have to, I'm going to file off the front side just a little bit, and that'll raise it up. So, got to be careful. This side's got teeth on it, so we don't want to slide over and hit the A string. So, it's quite narrow at the bottom, so you can get in tight spots. Just a swipe. If you can see here, there's just a little tiny bit of ebony file dust there. Bracket low, 
Back at it high, 176. Compared to the back. Okay, and that's the uh, tuning of the nut on the um, Opus 15 violin. And what this will do for us, if this is perfect synchronization with the, the top 176, the fingerboard 176, the nut, the string bar of the tailpiece, the saddle, and the end pin, uh, that will be the ideal situation. What this will do, uh, the fingered fourth string and the, op and the next open string will match. They'll sound like they belong together. Or you play down fourth finger, third, second, first, open, they'll sound good. Okay, so this will improve as we go along with each of the different uh, succeeding steps. Okay, thank you.